Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video we're going to show you how to service the transmission on this Ford Taurus with a 3 liter and an automatic. Uh, tools you'll need are a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet and you'll obviously need a catch pan, possibly two because it is a large pan. Uh, and then you'll need seven quarts of Dexmark transmission fluid and a new filter. You want to raise the car up off the ground and underneath this is your transmission pan, this odd shaped almost L-shaped pan on this 3 liter and there's a whole bunch of bolts you want to remove and you basically want to remove them in a way that you can slowly drop down this end of the pan and drain it out from this side. Okay so let's do a lot of fast forwarding here through these bolts. These bolts aren't usually that tight when you re-tighten them up. Uh, you only need to tighten them about, uh, about 80 inch pounds which is only 6 to 7 foot pounds um, but as I'm removing it, you'll see some fluid start to drain out a little bit from the holes in the for the where the bolts are. Okay, now as I remove these end bolts, you'll really start seeing the fluid drain out of the end. Um, so I've actually got two catch pans underneath because there's quite a bit of fluid coming out. Okay, so I'm about to take out the last bolt. I'm going to hold the Okay, so here you'll see an arrow pointing to that little round thing inside the pan. I didn't get a good shot of it, um, but what you want to do, that's actually a magnet. You can just pull that out of the pan and you want to wipe it down really good. It's going to have a lot of tiny little medical particles. That's what happens to transmissions as they wear. Just little microscopic pieces of metal come out and that magnet attracts them. So you want to pull that out, wipe it down, and then put it back into the pan. Okay, so now we can just take the gasket and pull it down the rest of the way and then that kind of triangular shaped or triangular rectangle um, is your filter just grab hold of it and pull it right down and some more oil is going to come out so just be careful make sure you have your catch pan everywhere you need it um, and just so you know about six six and a half quarts um, of transmission fluid come out when you do this. Okay, and after you've got that down, just take a paper towel or a rag and you want to wipe it down a little bit. You don't have to get everything off. off. The filter has a little gasket on here and actually the old one, the old filter just kind of stuck in there so we're just carefully, you don't want to damage any of the aluminum, but just carefully reach in there and just kind of pull on it and pull it right out. Okay, so the new filter, little teeth that go on there and then push it up and in. Okay, so here's our pan all nice and cleaned out. Got the gasket on top of it. A couple of bolts. 
Put one up through. Start it in. Okay. Now let's come around here. Put another bolt up through the gasket. Start it in. And on this side, make sure it goes through the gasket. Start it in. Okay, so we'll speed through. Just going to put in all the bolts by hand first. And now I'm going to use my ratchet and I'm just going to tighten them up kind of preliminarily. I'm not going to tighten them up all the way. I'm just going to get them until they're starting to get some resistance because uh, then you want to actually use a torque wrench uh, and you only want to again torque these up to about you know, between six and eight foot pounds. And you can see here basically what I try and do is kind of go across and do opposite ones. Um, this is usually the best way to kind of torque it evenly and then after I've kind of gone across I'll actually go start at one corner and go right around and just make sure that I've got every one so I start I'm gonna start there check every one and then once I'm all set there they're all torqued up and right down in here is your transmission fluid dipstick and fill. You pull that out, you want a nice long funnel. Okay, the stick in there. And it needs to have a smaller diameter here to go into the fill. Uh, and basically what you want to do is start adding fluid until you can see it um, on the dipstick and then you want to um, start your car up, kind of drive it back and forth a little bit, get the engine warm, and then fill the fluid the rest of the way until it's up in the operating range with, with the transmission warm and in park. And uh, vehicles do have different, there are different types of transmission fluids, so I um, just want to make sure Fords usually take, this is called Dex Merc. And it usually says on the label, you know, what, uh, what it's for. Okay, so now as you can hear in the background, the engine's running, and you can hear me talking a little bit. But uh, after six quarts, we check the oil with the engine running and in park. Um, and it ends up that uh, after we drive it a little bit, we end up putting another half quart in. So basically, uh, after you train the fluid, you're going to need about six and a half quarts of transmission fluid to refill it. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.